Are mm-hmm. artists really shopping on beat stars? Mm-hmm. How many people finding success uh, uh, this route? Mm. I don't know the answer to that, but I'm willing to bet. Yes, artists are really shopping oh, for yeah. beat stars. Like, I don't know. Besides knowing producers uh, in their own network, if I'm an artist, I wouldn't even know a whole bunch of places to go to get beats. Like, and yeah. then you hear everyone knows of this huge marketplace full of producers and full of beats. I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure they they are. Yeah, uh, I would mm-hmm. if I was an artist. I'll be on there. Yeah. I, I mean, they like a, they cool. doing numbers. So I'm sure they, they getting in there. Yeah. It's just, I feel like the issue with any of the, and I don't want to say like B stars, cause I don't want to just feel like I'm like picking on B stars, but like Airbit, I don't know any, any of the other ones, but it's almost like, see, we come from e-commerce background. So it's the same issue. It's just wrapped in a different thing that when you have a lot of products like Amazon, right? If you're selling something on Amazon, you have a lot of competition and then it's a lot of products. So you got to figure out how to, kind of narrow that down because if not consumers are going to get it overwhelmed Do you know what i'm saying like if mm. if you don't know what you're looking for nobody wants to sit there and search through 50 million things all day so yes. you your job is to figure out how to make that easier for them 